Now, South Africa's president, Cyril Ramaphosa, has declared a national disaster, a move he says is necessary to tackle a record electricity shortage. The country is currently seeing its worst energy crisis in decades, which is stifling economic growth and disrupting public services. But opposition parties are angry at this emergency declaration. They're accusing the president of overreach. Chaos erupts in Cape Town's City Hall. Members of the left-wing Economic Freedom Fighters Party storm the stage where South Africa's president is about to give his annual State of the Nation address. Security, some of them heavily armed, manage to expel the opposition lawmakers. The disruption inside this chamber may have been brought under control, but ongoing disruption to South Africa's electricity supply led to President Cyril Ramaphosa declaring a national disaster. The National Disaster Management Center has consequently classified the energy crisis and its impact as a disaster. We are therefore declaring a national state of disaster to respond to the electricity crisis and its effect. Electricity blackouts across South Africa can last up to 12 hours a day. The power cuts are affecting all businesses and are hitting the country's economic growth. They've been imposed to help the country's struggling coal-generated power system survive as demand grows. Declaring a national state of disaster gives Ramaphosa's government more power to unlock funds. But some say he's exploiting the crisis. How can you declare a state of disaster because one department has a problem? What is going to happen with SAA? Is he going to declare another state of disaster with what is happening as ASA at Denel and everywhere? Meaning truth is the state of disaster is the ANC government itself. Now the government has to prove it can get a grip of the energy crisis. Otherwise, Ramaphosa may face more scenes like this, both inside and outside parliament.